same day that everything went down. Um, about what happened this this time, but uh, I realized that I was I was out of it. Um, I was really defeated and angry and sad and scared. Um, so I decided that you don't need to see that video. Um, I was not in a good place. So I'll just tell you what happened now that I just have a migraine and I'm really irritated with my sister. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So earlier, I was at work and I can't, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Someone said hi to me, I nodded my head, and opened the door to go back where my office is, and the person called me a bitch, so I turned around because part of treatment is also teaching them how to act in the real world, and I said, um, said, it's not okay, we're not going to do this today. Well, it made the person very angry, and they stood up, well, they jumped out of the chair actually, and they literally charged at me. And when I looked in their eyes, I could tell that if they got a hold of me, they were planning to kill me, um, but if, if they didn't kill me, I would be hurt very, very bad. No employee was out in the lobby, um, so everyone was behind closed doors, except for me, and I literally got behind the door and was able to shut it just in time. And right when I shut it and was holding it with my hands, their body slammed up against the door, almost jamming my wrist. My wrist started to immediately hurt. And they hit the door again. And I was standing against the door, yelling for help. And finally, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute later, um, another counselor came to my side of the door. <sighs> she took over so I could go back into my office and decompress. And their counselor took them into different office room and when they were talking about me they uh picked the desk up and started slamming it on the ground and then they also uh, threatened their counselor's life and said some really disturbing things and So, I was extremely on edge, went home, the day before, like, one person texted my phone, I was like, who is this, and they told me, and it was a guy who has continuously tried to get with me for the past year and a half, and I would ignore him, but he got a new number, so I didn't know, and, um, he is, I don't know if he's married to the woman who has his kid, or if he's just seeing her, but either way, he's seeing somebody, and they have a kid together, and he still tried to get with me, and he was still trying to get with me, so I was really aggravated with that, 
And then a few hours later, somebody that I deeply respect, um, who has always respected me, messaged me and uh, said they had a dream about me and that he, or earlier that day that he, um, okay, I can't go into that much detail because some people, yeah, so, um, anyways, anyways, he had a dream about me and he's seeing somebody and he has kids in real life. And he was like, well, well, if you're ever in the area, we can reenact the dream, which is just making out, but still, like, that's, that's cheating. So I was like, um, he said no. I, res um, I would never do that to somebody. And he's like, oh, no, I was just joking. No, you were testing the waters to see if I would do that, and I won't, so nice try. An annoying try, like, don't even freaking try, like, that is so stupid. So stupid. Do I look like a freaking homewrecker? Like, we're friends, you know me, you know me really well, you know what I think of people who cheat on people, and you still try and make me your side piece? Hell no. Hell to the effing no. So annoyed. Um, yeah, so anyways. I was able, like, I just kept turning him down, but I did it nicely. And then, after the whole thing happened at work, I couldn't wait to get home to decompress and just nap before I went to hang out with somebody. Well, they messaged me on Snapchat and same thing, I'm friends with them. I'm also friends with his wife and they have a kid together. Um, the message was like, can I tell you something? I'm like, sure. And they're like, oh, never mind. It's dumb. I was like, just tell me. And he's like, ah, oh, it's dumb. And I was like, just tell me. And he's like, I have a crush on you. And I'm like, seriously? Like, the third freaking person in two days? And also taken? And they all have kids? I am literally, like, fuming at this point. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, you also know me. And you've been a good friend of mine, so you freaking know I don't do that bullcrap. So, I was like, I respect your, um, I respect your woman and your child too much, like, I would never do that. And, um, I feel like, well, I wouldn't say crash, more like attracted. Um, you know, whatever. And I said, you know what, like, I'm, I don't think it's a good idea for us to hang out. Um, I think from now on, I'm only going to hang out with you if your wife is there or if we're in a big group. And... That was my hip. Um, and then I just stopped opening up the messages. And I get a text message saying, open up your snap, and it's from him. So I opened it up. And it was like, oh, this is so-and-so, which was, like, a friend of his that I used to know, too. And, um, I sent that to er er he left his phone out on his desk, and I sent that to everybody. Um, you're the only one who actually believed everyone else thought it was a joke. Well, of course I freaking believed it, because there was two other people who were freaking married or dating somebody who has kids hitting on me too. Like, what the hell? Am I just supposed to suddenly know? Like, this is not freaking middle school where people are like, oh, you, this person wants to date you, you want to date them, and they're actually joking. Like, what the hell? We're all freaking grown adults here. So, I've just been in a really pissy mood. And then today, um, I texted my sister and I was like, hey, do you know if you have those days off? Like, I need to know so I can ask where I'm off. 
and she was like, what days? And I was like, the 11th through the 15th. And she's like, numbers? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What days? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And I was like, your phone has a calendar. And I did like the face palm face. And... I told her what days they were. And then, like, she went off on me. I'm not, not fully off yet. She's like, you're just being so difficult. I don't understand why you're being so difficult. Um, I'm not in that office today. I'm in the other office, and we don't have a work calendar here. So, no, I can't just check a calendar. It's not on my phone. I said, every cell phone has a calendar, Lauren. Like, whoa. And... Okay, I'm just asking if you can get those days off. You can just tell me tomorrow when you're in the regular office. I'm not going to say anything until I know what our plans are. Well, we know that's those days, so if you can just freaking tell me if those are the days that work for you, I'd appreciate it. No, no. This is on our parents. They need to figure it out and let me know, and then I'll see you. Because I have two weddings and trips to do and blah blah do. Like, so at this point, like, I'm really irritated. I'm not really irritated. Actually, I'm actually pretty calm. I'm not really irritated after the fact because she cussed at me a lot. And I mean a lot. Um, and when I told her that I wasn't the one being difficult, that she was, she's like, oh, that's actually funny really? Like, are you trying to fucking piss me off? Because you're fr- you did it. Because now you freaking did it. So I told her, I said, you know what? Like, I'm done with having this conversation with you. And she's like, why does it matter to you so much? Why? Why do you need to know? Like, I already said I was done with this conversation, but if you want to know why, okay. I said, it matters because... I'm trying to celebrate our dad's 50th birthday. He's our last living parent, so I'm just trying to make it work with everybody. And what I said was not mean. It's the truth. That's exactly what I was doing. And she was being difficult about it. And she literally twisted my words. And she's like, wow, Lisa. Really, Lisa? That's really fucked up of you to say. I can't believe you throw death in my face. One, I didn't throw death in her face. I literally just said the reason why I want to spend or get this all figured out to do is so I can make sure that I do get to spend my dad's 50th birthday celebration with him. It's because it's a huge deal for any family, but it's even a bigger deal because we already lost a parent who was only 30. So yeah, I kind of want to spend my freaking time with my dad if I can. <sighs> so anyways, sorry. I was like, I didn't do anything wrong. You asked me. And she's like, don't, don't talk to me anymore. And I said, you asked me what, what, why I cared so much, so I told you. Don't know what's wrong, but I already said to him that we needed to end this conversation. And she's like, oh, sorry. Ah, I paused it right before I sneezed. <laughs> Um, anyways, she was like, she cussed at me more. She's like, no, you're really fucked up. Can't believe you fucking said that. Um, I said, don't talk to me. And then she cussed at me some more. And I said, um, if you don't want me to talk to you, then why do you keep sending me stuff? And I already said that I was over this conversation. Um, 
I was just telling you the truth, like, I wasn't saying it in a mean way, I was literally just saying, like, we should celebrate Dad's birthday while we have a chance, um, but you need to stop this conversation before I go off on you, and she sends more stuff to me, and she's like, I already told you to stop fucking talking to me, and then she cussed at me some more, and it's like, don't tell me to stop fucking talking to you after I already told you I wanted to end this conversation 20 minutes ago before you even started cussing at me before you even asked me why and don't even fucking come at me when like don't cuss at me don't cuss at me because if you're gonna cuss at me then you you have opened the gates I have a lot of patience but if you want to open the damn flood floodgates I will get you right back and I will strike hard so, that's what I did, because I already told her to stop, probably around four or five times at this point. And I said, if you don't want me to go off on you, then don't say anything, and she had to say stuff. So, um, I let her have it. I said, don't fucking come at me like that, or something to that matter. Um, I didn't, you asked me what the fuck I cared so much for, and I told you why, and if, I didn't mean it in a bad way, but if you want to fucking take it, and the way that you're taking it, then go a fucking head, because you're not listening to me, or something, I don't even know, I'm really, really paraphrasing what I said, because I don't have a good memory, um, but don't fucking talk to me, bye. Like, goodbye. Oh, and I told her several times before that text, like, bye, and she kept, like, saying shit. So she finally stopped, and I'm sure she's telling all her co-workers how evil I am, and how I threw death in her face, and how I was like, oh, well, we have a dead mom, how dare you not care about our dad. That's not what I was saying at all. I was saying that's just why I freaking care that we celebrate it together. It's not my fault you don't care as much as I do. Not my fault that you see it differently than I do. But that's how I freaking see it. So I've had a migraine since 1 o'clock today because of her. And it's 4.30 now. So yeah. Fun. Anyways. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Much love.